Hi, everyone. A very, very good evening to all of you. First of all, I really want to thank you, DLC, for giving me this opportunity to come here up front and showcase my collection. Let's just talk about fashion, fashion styling. Um, can I engage the audience by sort of Q&A and things? And uh, tell me, if you want to go for a wedding, like if we have a day wedding, what would you guys love to wear or prefer to wear? A darker color or a pastel shade? Can I have it from anybody over here? Pastels, perfect, perfect. Like supposedly I'm getting an invite to go for a cocktail party. Tell me, give me good ideas what we can wear. Wow, very nice. That's the, I think, most safest option. Black dress, a black short dress, I think, is mentadri in the uh, closet, always. We'll just talk about basic dressing sense. Imagine gentlemen walking with a nice crisp iron shirt and, you know, matching trousers, polished boots, and smelling divine. How do we feel? We genuinely want to give a look to the person, right? And uh, same goes for women as well. We love to see such people, you know, well-dressed, well-talking that way. And if randomly we see a person, you know, not that crisp shirt, stains are there on the shirt, and not smelling divine, of course the person will gain the attention, but not the right one. It's like always people make judgments. We create our own impressions by how we dress, because that marks the first impression. You don't know me, I don't know you. When once I reach anywhere or we see anybody, we just make a statement by how they are carrying themselves and what are they wearing. So I think clothes by far uh, are the most important and essential part of a person's uh, closet, nature, anything. You can, you know, you can make, uh, make out a lot about the person. How is he wearing? What is he wearing? Uh, how he will be? How his nature will be? You know, a lot of things you can come to know about a person only after when you see how he dresses. Like I gave you an example, it's not related to clothes, but when I entered over here today, uh, I just wanted to see the scenario, see the setup and everything, and I was really scared. So I came, uh, only Shilpi was there, and uh, Mr. Jimmy. And you know, I was so scared of Mr. Jimmy because I had seen his social media portfolio and so many other things. I was like, how will I face him? How will I meet him? I was not at all scared for the audiences. Trust me, I was not about scared about anything, my speech, nothing, but only Mr. Jimmy. But you know, this guy, thank you so much. He was so humble, he was so humble. We were standing, we were talking like friends. I mean, commendable, commendable. And within 15 minutes, I got an invite for a Lakshmi Fashion Week and a New York Fashion Week. I mean, hats off to this man. He's been so, so, so generous. Thank you so much. And it's, it's a huge um, accomplishment on myself also, as this is a huge foray for me to portray myself over here. Now, I would like to present a few designs of mine. <laughs> Guys, that's my beautiful daughter, Sia. Come, come, come here. And that's my master G, the man behind the craftsmanship. So now, AM to PM looks, everybody's aware of. And Delhi, Bombay, these are all hybrid cities. I think we are all so short of time, all the time. And in fact, uh, somewhere I read this quote also, the best thing ever, if you wish to give it to someone, is your time. You know, you should give your time. That's the most important thing in these days. And anyways, we are always short of it. So supposedly, she's right now into an office attire. And she, she's coming from office, but now she has to go to a party. Like, uh, you can say a cocktail party or informal dinner, where you don't need to get dress up very, very, very formally. So what will she wear? I'll make her ready into a sari within a minute. So here we go. So this, these are our pre-draped saris. These needs no petticoats, no blouses. Just a minute and you are good to go to the party. Here you go, by the stop clock. Six, 19 seconds, okay? Six minutes, turn, 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 twirl. One more time, perfect. Bingo. And she's ready to go, see? <laughs> Super cool. Yes, very nice. We have a pair of earrings, bangles, everything to accessorize with, but I don't think so that's necessary. Now, okay, that's about a sari that she's going to a cocktail party or in a you know, cards party. These days, card sessions are coming, Diwali. The Delhi people must be very, very aware about it. So now she has to go to a club, not to this boring cards party. So what are we going to do? 
By the way, six, uh, seven, ten is now yet to happen. Not even a minute, 20 seconds. See? Just by wearing this cape. Walk around, see her, turn around. Yeah, very good. Go there, please come back. See, she's ready to go to a club. So easy, so super cool. We have one more versatile thing, you know, one more style, another style how to drape it. We have these trends now, we don't repeat our clothes, people judge us and all that stuff. So you can wear it this way. Perfect, that's another style. Wow, turn around. Super. Now, now what? Wedding has come. Shadi mein jana hai. Ab shadi mein toh wo printed saadi bhi nahi pehen sakte hum. Ab hum ye bhi nahi pehen ke ja sakte shadi mein. Now what do we do? We say, Archana is there yaar, what's the fair? Come. Now we'll wrap her up in a formal saadi. Again you go. See, now she's ready. And we have a lot of jewelry you want me to accessorize her. I'll show and show the complete look. Thank you. So now she only carries a clutch or she can wear a very nice neck piece and she's good to rock a wedding. So that phase, you know, only by playing with AM, PM, few things, you are from AM ready to your 2 PM ready. So that's how we present our collection. And uh, thank you. Thank you, Sia. You can walk a little bit. Show them. Yeah. Nice. Take a nice twirl. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, sweetie. Achha, by the way, I have another daughter who's not here on stage, but my studio is named after her only, Ada. And she was constantly fighting and she was not even here that Mama's not taking me, Mama's not doing anything. So, Ada, can you hear me? That's Ada, the girl behind my studio. And just before entering here, she was like, you're a rock star, you will rock the show, don't worry. Thank you. Okay, uh, that's my bride, okay? And this, this girl is a working girl. And when it comes to, I think, wedding lehengas or wedding attires, uh, I don't know how much the brides are scared or skeptical when they come to me, but I am very scared because you're holding somebody's D-Day, you know? They are going to scroll those show pictures, those pictures, entire their lifetime. And if supposedly anything had gone wrong, every time on every picture, I'll get a gali. Iski wajay se aisa hua hai. Iski wajay se aisa hua hai. So I always make sure that everything goes perfect according to the taste of the client and whatever they wish to have in their lehengas or in their attires, I always push myself to deliver my best. So how we create this? We have most lines of embroideries, the swatches. Yes, see, uh, first we take the measurements and according to those measurements, we design. After t discussing with the bride, she wants what motives, what colors and everything. Then a trace paper is made. Then this way we make embroidery khakas, get them passed by the clients. All our intricate hand embroideries done by our excellent craftsmen from all over the world we have. I have a team of more than 24 members and all are catering to, you know, different uh, centers from India. And trust me, they are at the best. So this way we go keep... So this is how we make people's dreams, you know, into reality. And thankfully, touch wood, uh, so far, all my clients have become my family now. And one of those, I have so many of them, but yes, of course, I would like here to introduce one of my clients who's actually become like a family to me now. This girl, she came to me almost six years back when she was unmarried. And um, Lakshmi, uh, can we have you here, please? And now, when she, I was uh, with her at, during her unmarried times, now she has a beautiful daughter. And I have all the delight, all the opportunity to create good clothes for her also. And the best part is, out of everything, she calls me Archana Babi. <laughs> That's her engagement gown which I created for her. And uh, can we have the slide? Here she's wearing this engagement gown and her husband's uh, costume was also done by me. That was twinning and winning. We give them matching colors all the time, generally most of the time. And now we have another masterpiece <laughs> in my own creation. So I, I feel so good and delighted when I see my clients growing and myself growing with them as a community all together. I love you, Kaira. Thank you so much for being Thank here. You. And we have more such pictures of my clients. See, they, we did this uh, twinning and winning theme on their birthday. Uh, they are wearing the same clothes 
all blue theme the decor was blue so a lot goes behind a person's costume the stage what decor is going on what jewelry are she supposed to wear what the jewelry in laws are going to make the girl wear so you know she's wearing something else then she changes the costume and then the jewelry is changed so it happens like a haphazard the whole picture uh, you know it goes haywire no we have to keep everything in an alignment i want to give you an intro about this reel this is again about this lakshmi only her mother she got married around 28 years back and she had her wedding lehenga which was almost at the verge of getting torn and torted and you know almost going condition so she wanted me to recreate something so that you know uh, she always had a dream that my i want to see my daughter in my own wedding lehenga but uh, sorry uh, from lakshmi's part because she didn't didn't wanted to wear that lehenga and because the condition it was she never wanted to wear it so i recreated something and see the result that was the lehenga but this was not her taste at all and i transformed her mother's lehenga into something so breathtaking are you ready that was the product we did after that and the trust me uh, the smiles we get from them their parents the blessings is genuinely priceless and thank you so much here i wind myself if uh, i would like if anybody of you have a question or something i would happily answer them you are one of my role models you know wow next meeting, thank you so you much thank you so much coming from so such a big uh, it's like you know thank you so much thank so you i can see the energy in you you know <laughs> by explaining everything ask my know. husband it's hard for him to take my energy <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be happy thank you hanji please I do that. I genuinely do that because you know uh, these days mobile is like something which everybody wants to keep it over here uh, all the time. Mobile and uh, actually you know cash also. So I design clothes with invisible pockets. Trust me, we make kalida lehengas and inside we give an invisible pocket. You can keep your gadgets, your phone, everything. Totally sold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Thank you. I think I'm done. Thank you so much, VLC. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.